First question comes from avo.com. What happens to a loan under my husband's name when he dies? It's for a bed. Would they take my bed away? He took a loan out at Wells Fargo to pay for a new bed. He passed away last month, and everything I read says I'm not responsible for the loan um, if it's under a deceased spouse's name. Would they take my bed away? Um, he has no estate. Okay. It would depend if the loan was secured by the bed. So if they took out, like, it went to Wells Fargo and took out a general loan, um, and they gave him, like, a 1000 bucks, which he happened to use on a bed... And the wife, no one else co-signed on it. It was just in his name. Um, that's just that, that is going to be an estate debt that the wife is probably not personally liable for. And under Georgia law, generally, if she defaults or the estate has no other assets to pay the loan, the bank will probably just write it off. I wonder if maybe they like bought it from a store and then the financing yeah, agreement probably through Wells Fargo. was through, through Wells yeah. Fargo. That and makes sense. In that situation, that, that's what I imagine is more like a Wells Fargo credit card. Yeah. Gotcha. That's exactly that what it must be because the the idea often, of going yeah. the idea of going to a Wells Fargo and being like, hey, I really need like money for a bed. <laughs> I need a bed. <laughs> like, it would like, be a really <laughs> nice bed. If that's the case, if it is like a finance agreement through a store where where you got it and it's just yeah. being controlled by Wells Fargo, then there is a chance that that might be might. one of these things where you know you don't fully own the bed until right. you paid off yeah. it's like leveraged or whatever yeah. right almost like a, rent, not yeah. like a rent to own they could file a creditor claim against his estate yeah and then the court could look into his estate because she says he does not have an estate but that's everyone has no, an estate. everybody has an estate this hasn't been filed with the court yet right. gotcha yeah. and if and if he really bought a bed that's just in his name and it's just his name on this bed well, then they're going to argue with the court, well, this is his estate asset. But unless it's a very nice bed, I imagine a bank may not want to waste that much time. They yes. may just sell the debt to a collections Ooh. agency. We don't know because we just don't know enough about the loan itself. Exactly. Right? right. It's A lot of that's going to come down to the terms of the loan. Mm -hmm. And I guess your, your estate planning takeaway is a creditor on a loan can come after an estate, and your estate will include more than just, like, my land. Yeah. Right. right? It's all your stuff. Right. It, it, so they could come after them but, for something. But, but, if, 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 it's, if but an example, like if it was instead of a bed, it was a car. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there was a car loan that was secured by the car. They would repossess the car if it wasn't paid, regardless gotcha. of the status of the estate. Because And same for a mortgage, whether or not the estate is probated. If the mortgage isn't paid, they will foreclose on the house um, because they have superior interests over anything else. So if the bed is secured, I guess they'll, they can take the bed. Um, and if it's not, it's just an unsecured creditor that gets in line with all the other unsecured creditors in a, a state. So a secured loan means it's tied, it's to, tied to a that physical specific thing. asset. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, I didn't. Specific thing. Yep. Guys, thanks so much for watching this episode of Let's Talk About Death and Taxes. If you enjoyed this, uh, definitely let us know in the comments. Guys, our law firm is focused on setting people up and helping them out with legacy preservation, anything involving last wills, trusts, and estate planning. Um, we also created a PDF, um, and that's linked in the comments below. And uh, James is going to tell you about it. Yeah, so we went ahead and put together a brief PDF format pamphlet, and this is a primer for somebody who is new to thinking about estate planning. It's going to tell you what it is, and it's also going to go through three common mistakes that people make when they think about estate planning, and it's going to be titled something like that. <laughs> so go ahead and check it out. Uh, it's pretty accessible, and read it over. If you have any questions or if it makes you think about anything, give us a call. See if we can help you out. Yeah, you can also work with us straight away if you give us a call at 404-939-7562 or send us an email at info at modernestateplanning.com. Guys, if, also, if you could share this video on your timeline, that seriously helps us out. Guys, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.